So this is the download and upload speed with our mobile phone connected to the D-Link DWRX2102 mobile hotspot router. Introducing the D-Link DWR-X2102 Wi-Fi 6 AX1800 5G NR MiFi. We're going to unbox this and set it up for use. We'll show you how just inserting a SIM card would enable you to have a Wi-Fi 6 mobile hotspot that will give you high speed, high performance, Wi-Fi to all your connected device. Best of all, this supports dual band Wi-Fi as well. These are the items in box. Let's take a look at the D-Link DWR-X2102 Mobile Hotspot MiFi Router. At the bottom, you've got the SIM card slot and this supports Nano SIM card. Beside it, you've got the USB-C port to charge the 5000mAh battery. This is a large capacity battery to ensure that you can last up to 8 hours of continuous usage. And on the right, you've got the reset pinhole. Using a pin and pressing on the reset pinhole will reset the device back to factory defaults. At the top, you've got the power button. Let's power on the device by pressing on the power button for approximately 3 seconds. This is the user interface once you power up. Let us install a SIM card. To install SIM cards, you need to open the SIM card slot cover. Now this is a nano SIM card and you need to insert the SIM card into the SIM card slot in the following orientation. Push the SIM card all the way in. You will hear a click. It is spring loaded and the SIM card is now installed. Close the cover. By pressing on the power button, you can see that the SIM card is from Singtel and this SIM card supports 5G network. Let's take a look at the interface for this device. We need to slide to unlock. You can see that the Wi-Fi is on and there are currently zero connected devices. For the Wi-Fi info, you can select 5 GHz Wi-Fi or 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Currently, both are turned on. We'll leave it as is. For the Wi-Fi name and password, for the 2.4 GHz, 
This is the Wi-Fi name and that is the password. For security, we will recommend leaving it at WPA2 and WPA3 PSK. Do note that the Wi-Fi name and password, the default, is also found on the label at the back of your device. So this is the default and if you ever forget the SSID or password, do a reset and you can use back this default SSID and password. Similarly, the Wi-Fi name and password for the 5 GHz is as shown. Let's go back to home. So under menu, you've got the Wi-Fi which we have just shown you earlier. And the connected device is 0 since there's nothing connected at the moment. The language is English. You can do a software upgrade online. For data roaming, if your SIM card supports data roaming, do turn it on. And you've got the device info. And finally, you can do a factory reset via the menu settings. If you were to do a reset, it will restore to default settings. Alternatively, you can also do a reset by using a pin and inserting a pin into the reset pinhole over here. So this is the user interface and you have also gotten the total data usage highlighted over here. Let us now connect our device and use this mobile router. From the device, you can see our SIM card is beaconing 5G network. So using our mobile phone, we can swipe down and connect to the network which is the D-Link 5G for 5 GHz or the D-Link 2G for 2.4 GHz. We'll connect it to the D-Link 5G network using our mobile phone. Now the default password can be found on the label at the back of the device. So let's key in the Wi-Fi key or the Wi-Fi password. Once the password is key in, select connect. Our mobile phone is now connected to the D-Link hotspot mobile MiFi router. If we do select to unlock and tap on connected devices, you can see that there is one connected device, which is our mobile phone. Let's do a speed test. So this is the download and upload speed with our mobile phone connected to the D-Link DWRX2102 mobile hotspot router. It's a fairly decent speed for use 
when you're traveling or on the go. So do check it out.